That's something. There's that. What's up, guys? Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I am chilling here on my mom's patio. And I brought with me some homebrew. Yes. Can't wait to crack this bad boy open. Cut a yard earlier, so I'm I'm feeling like I earned the beer. Definitely feel like I earned the beer. <clears throat> so yep. Yeah. Sit there and bait for a couple minutes. Hopefully I don't get too much sun where I'm sitting. It is freaking hot. And yes, there's a face behind me. <laughs> but yeah, so far it's been a pretty good day. We had DJ said earlier. Mmm. Alrighty. We are last. A beer. My phone just vibrated. So, yeah. I'm hot. Even though I showered, it is. Oh, I should split. Only 78. Err, 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 Crazy, dawg. Here we go. Happy 4th of July. Uh, some homebrew. There. Yes. Got the homebrew. Look at that. Foaming up beautifully. How are you doing today, Todd? Mmm. That is tasty. That is pretty darn tasty. It lost a lot of the uh, carb, but that's okay. I did set a bottle of uh, this beer aside to open up in December to see how it tastes then. So hopefully it tastes all right. And hopefully I'm not like zooming in and out really bad. I turned off the autofocus. It was getting so bad during that thunderstorm recording. I'm like, I, I can't deal with it anymore. So, yeah. Put this down a little bit. There we go. Got my Colorado University hat on. <coughs> but yeah, I figured to hang out here with you guys for a little bit. I'm going over to my mom's friend's house in a few hours. Not sure what is going to go on there. We may be able to see fireworks from there. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, we're just going to chill and have a 4th of July beer. Who am I kidding? We'll have a second one, too. We'll have a beer that's going to be a crazy pour, but man. I'm actually pretty, pretty satisfied with the way that this beer came out. I mean, it's... As Scott said it wasn't very hazy, but sitting in the bottle for a while, that's pretty darn hazy. Scott's the uh, bartender at Pilot House Brewing Company. I took him a little taste of my beer, and he actually said, this is really good. I've had him try three beers in a row in the last two beers. He was like, you just you need to get on this. You need to, you need to get in the amateur brewing with this beer. Same with your last beer. Hey, Dylan, thank you, man. How's your uh, Thursday going? How are you doing today? Mmm. Drinking some yum yum homebrew. It is a strawberry milkshake IPA named Mojo Milkshake IPA, named after you know, my late great kitty Mojo. So I'm so happy that this turned out well. I was worried. Because when I transferred it from the uh, fermenter, you kind of condition and carbonate. It just, it something didn't taste right with it. Happy 4th! Yeah. Like a firework. I'm getting lit! No, I'm just kidding. I can't get that lit. Dude, I just cut the grass. It's hot. It's humid. I earned a beer or two. I mean, hell, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. You know what? It's 5 o'clock in Halifax, so there we go. 
Five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock Atlantic time. <laughs> so I made it. Mm. But yeah, it is so muggy today. I mean, I was dripping in sweat after I cut the grass. I'm so glad I brought a change of clothes and I was able to shower because I haven't felt that nasty cutting grass in a long time. Yeah, I don't get it. We're usually really dry here in Colorado. God knows. I mean, earlier it was looking like we were going to get some rain, so I was like, ah, crap, am I going to even be able to cut the yard? I miss the, miss the weed, man. Hey, man. Hey, man, need some weed? <laughs> I miss it with the mower. Gosh, I wish we had some other stuff. I could get it looking a lot better than it does. It's just crap. It's not even green anymore. It's getting kind of brown. Can't really, it's kind of green, but that's Colorado for you. Grass, it's just, it's too hard to maintain here and keep green. So hopefully if I do move to Florida, I'll have some grass I don't have to take care of. I'm thinking more of a, a community ran, like housing low income housing no, I'm just kidding um, no just like a housing area with you know an HOA that they maintain the lot not really a townhouse I've done the townhouse living it's it's alright not fully what I want to keep doing mom just sneezed Dang. Yeah, it's 70. It, my phone's saying it's 78 here. It sure as heck feels a lot warmer than that with the humidity. That's something that's going to be hard for me to get used to if I move to Florida. Is 98 degrees with 98% humidity. The, thrill, the, the Fahrenheit, the feel like temperature is going to be like 106 Fahrenheit. So that's going to be awful. So I just got to get a place with a really good air conditioner <laughs> keep it nice and cool because I'd rather be cool than hot like inside my house mm. damn man that's warm gosh this is so easy drinking I just wish it was carb better but <coughs> I kind of forced it to be ready for today I mean, if it was a two-gallon batch, I probably would have just left the other two other gallon to chill for another week or two, maybe even three, or hell, even like another month. But I kind of uh, sped up the this brew. I mean, I brewed it what three weeks ago, and I'm already drinking it. So, kind of like it though. I like the the all grain beer better than the extract because the extract always has a funk funky taste to it like a kind of a crappy taste to it and this all grain tastes phenomenal but if I do all grain with this beer for my two gallon fermenter it's going to take about four hours to brew alone just sit there and brew so when I brewed this I streamed it and that was a two hour process of watching water boil I don't think any of you want to sit through four hours of water boiling Who knows? There might be people out there interested in it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tasty, tasty beer. Let me put my keys away. Got it. There we go. Mr. Mojo's collar with Mr. Mojo's beer. See? I don't know if you can read it. Hold on. There. Mojo. Trying to get good lighting. That's Mojo. One of his older tags and bell. I replaced uh, this one probably five years ago with uh, a collar I'm going to probably frame. But enough of that. It's, it's the 4th of July. And I got all down on that 4th of July food. I ate some potato chips. Wow. 
but I don't know. I'll probably snack on something a little bit after the stream. But for now, we're going to have some beer tasting, I guess. I did do a DJ set earlier, and during that DJ set, I drank four or five cups of coffee. I mean, poof. That's because I slept like crap last night, and I wanted to try to get to my mom's house semi-early to take care of the yard. Able to do so. But yeah, any any 4th of July fan... Any 4th of July plans for you guys? Wow, getting tongue-tied over here. The alcohol is already hit me hard. Oh, didn't I? There it is. Oh, oh, it's out of frame. Let's see if I can get it in the sun for you guys. There you go. It looks good. Oh, man. I'm just... Oh, I know you don't. <laughs> I know you don't. <clears throat> Any any weekend plans, Dylan? Do 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 do. Uh oh. In a bit. <laughs> Mom keeps trying to get me working. She wants me to change a light bulb. <laughs> Oh, I could tell so many jokes about that. How many Pollocks, how many Jews, how many Scotsmen. You you name it. <laughs> mm. Ah, yummy. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll see fireworks tonight or not. I'm not going to go way out of my way. To get trapped in a horrible crowd of grouchy people. Ugh. My kid can't see over you. Ugh. I don't want to deal with that. So I think we're just going to go to my mom's friend's house and kind of chill and maybe grill and hang out. But we'll see. I mean, we'll see how my cell phone service is there and see how how well of a view we'll have of like fireworks who knows we may have like a direct view of the aurora fireworks that are shot off by my work so that'd be kind of cool to stream or re at least maybe record i don't know um saturday i'm going to the wings over the rockies museum which i plan on you know, recording and editing together and creating a, a video for that to put on YouTube sometime next week. I'm not sure when. We'll see when I'll have the, have the time to edit it. But yeah, I'll be able to crawl into some cockpits and tour some, some airplanes and stuff. So, exciting. Exciting, exciting stuff. But, mm. Speaking of airplanes, it sounds like one's about to fly over. Kind of. Oh. Mm mm mm. Yummy, 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 yummy. Tasty beer. Face. <clears throat> the face of a tree. Face of a tree. But yeah, I mean, not, nothing, nothing big for celebrating 4th of July. I'm, I'm in the area of their, not final approach, but I am in the area of an approach. Like they fly kind of, if they're landing towards the north, they'll fly to the south, whoop around the Air Force Base by here, and then <clears throat> land up north. But yeah, I see a lot of, a lot of awesome airplanes flying over. My favorites are, I think I've seen one <coughs> A380 once, and that was insane to see, but I've seen several uh, 747s fly over. Those are still just sweet to see. They're great. But yeah, sometimes in the summer, or hell, even the winter, I'll just hang out on my, my balcony, my patio, and just watch the airplanes come in. 
So, yeah. But yeah, I usually don't really see 747s because they, you know, come from Frankfurt or I think there's actually a 747 that flies in from uh from uh, Louisville, Kentucky of all places and the one from London Heathrow so we usually don't see those we're lucky to see them every once in a while they're kind of told to kind of go around oh nice I'm not sure if I'm, I'm about somewhere between 15 and 20 miles from the airport myself so yeah but <coughs> we always get a lot of air traffic here my dad in Tampa lives about seven miles from the end of the runway so it's just constant just jets flying over it's kind of kind of cool and it doesn't even take long that you don't even hear them even though you do hear them you just don't really acknowledge them after a while at his house but yeah it's always fun to go out there and watch planes land he, he has a flight that lands over his house sometimes from London the 747 and that's a lot of fun to watch come in like I say being about seven miles from the end of the runway they get low, they get loud, they get awesome. But here, they get low enough, I can, you know, usually look, look at the tail and I can tell what airline they are. Southwest, I can just look up real quick and be like, oh yeah, it's blue, well, it's orange, it's Southwest. <clears throat> so. But yeah, Wings of the Rockies is located at an old Air Force base. They had to close due to constructing of houses in the area and people complaining about the noise so they shut that that one down <clears throat> left the second air force base here open now people are complaining about that i'm like you knew you were moving into a you know a noise area a noisy area there's signs everywhere posted that you're in buckley airspace so but yeah people like to complain about anything and everything i guess so yeah, got my. I'll show you. Ugh. I've got my 1776 t shirt on today. Get away wearing it about once a year. <laughs> got my uh, <clears throat> Team USA soccer hat inside. I'll probably wear that tonight. My mom ended up finding this hat, I think, in my sister's old bedroom. She's like, Here, you can have it. All right, sweet. We we'll always use another CU hat. I think I have like six University of Colorado hats. Flip it backwards. There we go. Boom, Colorado. <laughs> so yeah. Damn, getting through this beer pretty quick. That's the one complaint I have about this beer. It's so easy drinking. I can get through it. A glass of it like that. <clears throat> I think, yeah, last night at the brewery, I had a, a pale ale, and I, I drank that like that. Um, I'm not really, I can't really watch it, because I'm playing all the games while I'm at work. Um, I'm going to try to catch as much as I can of Sunday's game. I think it's, I don't remember what time it starts my time. We'll see. Uh, my nieces are in town, and they'll be staying with my mom as of tomorrow, so... So I'll get to see the girls tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, and then again next Friday, because I'm going to go with them to the airport <clears throat> and take a bus back home, so that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Wish I had a car, I'd just give them a ride and save my mom a huge amount of uh, money. It is 2.20 p.m. or 14.20 Heard a bug. Ugh. But yeah, it's 2 20 in the afternoon and it just hit 80 degrees. So there we go. It's getting warmer. They're predicting 92 today. So, and I'm like, there's no way I'm sitting on my mom's patio if it's 92 degrees. <clears throat> I got the umbrellas up, that one, and there's one kind of over, over, over yonder. So it does start at 9 a.m. Well, I guess I'll be missing that game. 
It's a little early to come over to my mom's house. We'll see. <clears throat> Maybe I'll probably come over. I could probably get here around halftime. It depends on what time because my aunt uh, gets my nieces from Sunday, I think, until Thursday afternoon. And then my mom takes them back and she'll be flying to Phoenix with them and being in Phoenix. She'll be in Phoenix, be in Phoenix for a few days to be able to go see my sister's new house, which looks insanely nice. They have a pool in their backyard, and I'm jealous. I'd love to go out there too. I just don't get vacation time from work. I thought it would be cool to be able to go out there with them. They have an extra bedroom, I believe. So, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe not. Actually, I, I bet the, my nieces could share a bedroom for a few days if I ever go out there. But yeah, my dad's going to Phoenix for Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Hey, Godfrey. How are you? Happy 4th of July, brother. How are you doing? How's the weather up there? It is really humid and sticky here. Mmm. Mmm. I brought another bottle of these. I'm going to take to my mom's friend's house. Yeah. That's true. I could probably... Jeez. Probably catch the last half an hour. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how tired I am. I mean, last night, I just... I was not tired even after the, the stream I did. I don't know if the Magic Muffin is still here, but that's probably been the most fun stream I've had in a while, even because, well, I haven't streamed for a while, I've been focused on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> if, I could, if I didn't have the temperature on my phone right now, I probably would have guessed it was like 85 here, not 80, just because the humidity is really high. Man, I was sweating like a piggy. Mowing my mom's yard. I finished and I was like, I just need to shower. She's like, I'm running the I'm running the washing machine. I don't care. I just need to shower. It's insane. Ooh. Well, I may have to BRB for drink drink this beer in twenty five minutes. <sighs> That's a bummer. Yeah, it took a while for it to finally hit 70 here, I think. I think it was around a, like 11.30 and it hit 70. I'm like, that's insane. I just think the humidity here kept the temperature down. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but science? Get in the van, we're doing science! <laughs> but, finish this real quick and I'll BRB and then grab another beer. Another beer! I'm so American when I say beer. I'm grabbing me another beer. Mm. I'll be back in one or two minutes. <clears throat> Clean up my glass and I am back. Ooh, you might be. I don't think we are. We don't have any chances of storms here today. But the clouds are. Can't really see them, but the clouds are pretty puffy. It's got a forest behind me. I love this tree behind me. It's a nice tree. It needs to be trimmed though. Oh, yeah. Listen to this. Want to hear a crazy beer sound? Yeah. 
that wasn't the beer. That was a firecracker. And watch how you pour this beer. Hold on. Dry that out a little bit. Ready? Not mixing. Oh, yeah. Look at that color. Oh, my gosh. Talk about science. It's a nitro beer. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of them for the last few days, too. But my... I don't know about here. I haven't really talked to my mom about it. But my area, people are just... You know, cutting it out around 9... 9.30, 10 o'clock. So... Respect. All right. Mm. <clears throat> I know. It's a... Uh... Shit, I thought the can said it. it. might be on the box. What the hell? Oh, it's a Berry Blonde Ale. So it's Berry Blonde Ale. And the description is... <clears throat> super smooth and refreshing... Subtle zing from berry notes with a striking pink color. Very much so. <clears throat> it's a it's 4.7%. It's a girly beer. And the ingredients are Rocky Mountain water, of course. Uh, malted barley, hops, raspberry, black currants, and yeast. Of course there's yeast in it. There has to be yeast. Okay. Dang. Well, 1030 is not too bad. I mean, I remember being at my dad's house in Tampa, 4th of July, like around that time before, and people were shooting them off until midnight on like July 2nd. And my dad's like, I can't sleep with this. I work tomorrow. This is the people knock it off. <laughs> But I, I have a feeling that, you know, most people, at least in my neighborhood, work every day, except for today, so I think they're able to go, okay, I'm not going to be shooting them off late. They will be tonight, that's the thing, they're probably going to be shooting them off around here until about 11.30. God, that's a pink ass beer. It's a ladies beer in a ladies glass. Mustache, mustache. I've got a mustache. It's gone. <clears throat> yeah, probably. It'd be going late. Yeah, last night when I left the brewery at 9, there was a hell of a good amateur show going on across the street in the neighborhood. I mean, these were freaking... It had to have been about $400 worth of Wyoming fireworks going up in the sky. <clears throat> Because that's where we go to get our fireworks. If you go up, uh, I think it's... Yeah, I think if you go up I-25, just across the border of Colorado to Wyoming, there's like a huge fireworks depot. I don't know why people are shooting off fireworks during the day. See? Yep. Yeah, I've been by it once. No. Probably maybe three times. Because I think I've been up there a few, three times. Once on my way to Salt Lake City. <clears throat> once on my way to Yellowstone back in the 80s. And once I think my friend and I, he felt like going for a drive. So we ended up in uh, Wyoming. Hey man, you want to come with me? I just feel like going for a drive. Alright, let's go. Where are we going? I don't know. North. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Mm. Well, all you Wyomingans come down to Colorado and get some of our marijuana and drink our craft beer, man. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it is. 
We are paying for your infrastructure. You're welcome. Mmm. <laughs> very good. Very pink, but very good. <clears throat> but probably the last beer I'll drink with y'all on a stream. I kind of want to save my a little. Ah, actually, I think I have two, two in my mom's fridge already. Oh, you're welcome. That's okay. Taxpayers in the city of Aurora pay my taxes or pay my pay my salary. Oh wait, I'm partially paying for my own salary. How fucked up is that? Really? That's how it works. Yeah, yeah. You work for the city. You're paying part of your salary. Maybe two cents on the dollar, if that. Probably no. Probably like two tenths of a cent to the dollar or to a an hour or whatever. I feel like I get paid a dollar an hour. Hmm. Oh no, the sun's moving this way. Know how to fix that? Ah, move over. There we go. There we go. Yes. Oh, we we do. Ours is eight point eight point something percent. I want to say it went up to eight point seven. But for the longest time, it was 8.1. I think it went up to 8.7. <clears throat> I guess where my dad lives outside of Tampa, because he's in the county, he was like, yeah, now our sales tax is 8.5%. And I'm like, well, you don't pay property taxes, so you got to get taxed one way or another. I, I pay property taxes. Dude, that's not bad at all. Where you at? Where you at? There he is. There it goes. I think. I thought I saw it. I'll see it in a second. Stop looking at me. Oh god, it hurts my neck. Oh yeah, 737. Thoughts that sound like it. Our, our property taxes here are disgusting. The, the county raised it massively, and the city raised it massively. Uh, last year, I mean, my mortgage went up like 40 bucks. So it's like, all right, motherfuckers, I'll start paying into my escrow every month. And, you know, five, ten bucks in the escrow. So if I'm still here in a year, my mortgage should hopefully drop by about 10 to 20 bucks. But yeah, it went up like forty dollars in one year. I was like, "Oh shit!" I thought my payments were supposed to go down over the years. I've been here for eight years, and you're making me pay how much? How much more a month? You motherfuckers! But that's okay, because honestly, I could sell my place here, move down to Tampa, Florida, get twice the space. It'll be in twice a nice neighborhood. And, you know, the, just the layout. I mean, I've looked at several down there since I applied to a job at a library in Tampa. And it's like, I'm looking at some of these houses like, hell yeah. And then I look at other other ones and my price range like, uh, no. <laughs> I want an upgrade. You're looking like, yeah, it makes me look like I'm downgrading with that. But there's been a few. They should. I mean, I think they do. If I'm on a 30 year, I think uh, the last 15 it goes down a little bit. <sighs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, Haley, how are you? Happy 4th of July. Cheers. I'm drinking a super, super pink beer. That pink beer's back. Man, this shit was. Exp I, I thought the. The first time I bought a six pack of this at the grocery store, nine ninety nine. I'm like, that's a hell of a good deal for a six pack of like fourteen ounce can. Second time I bought it, I thought it was still nine ninety nine. And by the time I got it to register, it went up to thirteen ninety nine. I was like, ah, shite. All right, whatever.
Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's the thing. Well, I'm looking at the same value of my house. Because I know if I sell my house here, I could put a massive, massive down payment down. <clears throat> and you hop on a 30-year fix, fixed rate, and my payments would be, for a house, they'd be about... Maybe a little more than what I'm paying here. Maybe maybe six hundred a month, plus anywhere between fifty and three hundred a month for uh, HOA. And I'm like, you get twice twice the space for what? Fifty dollars more a month? Okay, you know, it's, yeah. All right, I'll do it. Don't have to twist my arm on that deal. <coughs> But hello, princess. Hopefully you're having a good day. I don't know. Did you go to any cookouts? Or are you just chilling? Oh, okay. I'm alright. I'm hot. I'm sitting here. I'm baking. I'm baking in the shade. Ooh. As soon as I do that, it got a breeze. Hold on. Oh my gosh, did that feel good. That was a nice little breeze right there. Nice breeze. And that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I've been to my house here for seven and a half years. And the value of my place has tripled. So it's like, now might be the time to sell and move elsewhere and like I said go from well it won't be twice the size I go from about a 1,000 square foot to up to maybe twice I mean I've seen some houses in my price range for at 2,000 square feet four bedrooms two and a half bath see that would be ideal for me <clears throat> I finally have an attached bathroom to my bedroom I have four bedrooms, one for an office, one that's a fully guest bedroom, another one that's a library slash secondary guest bedroom. To me, that's perfect. So perfect to have. But even three bedrooms, it's like, fine, I, okay, I'll have, my be I'll have my bedroom, I'll have a, a, an office, I won't be stuck in my living room gaming. Because I get kind of tired of it. I mean, that's, you know, it's, it's so hard to look over here at the at my screen while I game and then go over here and look at the chat if I'm like totally engulfed in what's going on here it's hard to look over here I could always set up my phone for a twitch chat so while I'm streaming I could just kind of play and just glance down real quick and look at the chat but even that you know it's I wish it would, I wish I could put it up on my screen as a scroller on the side or something Yeah, I wish I had an office, but I have a guest bedroom that hasn't been used since October. But, <clears throat> I mean, I have a, my radon system is connected to that room, so there's a in the background, a hissing, and I don't know if my microphone would pick it up or not, so it's not even worth moving all my crap down there just to find out. There's hissing in the background. That's annoying. <clears throat> I mean, currently, when I game, there's meowing in the background, but whatever. That's just Bailey trying to be a, you know, Twitch and YouTube, YouTube star. <laughs> mm. Oh, shit, yeah. I, I really feel like I got screwed in that. I really, I was cornered into a radon system. Cornered, they said. In order for you to buy this place, you have to add a radon system. Well, I was going to have it go through my storage room out of the way. <clears throat> and then when that moron that came to install, it's like, Oh, it ain't been the right drill. I could always, you know, we could always reschedule and I could redo it later. And it's like, dude, I took off the fucking day at work. No, just put it in my guest bedroom. I'm over this shit. So I need, I think if I get some, some wood... Or at least some drywall and put some insulation on it and kind of make like a half a box just kind of like that or whatever I don't know 
like a corner and put a piece on top that can easily be pulled, picked up and moved just to cover it and I think it would block out some of the uh, hissing. But yeah, they're like, oh, Radon's a silent killer. And I'm like, everything's a silent killer anymore. Let's be real. I'm sitting outside right now, breathing in God knows what. Calling it fresh air. <laughs> it's all silent killers. But yep, so. Mmm. Man, that's crazy. Is radon like a new thing? Because 10, 15 years ago, you never heard about radon. But, you know, let's be honest. 40 years ago, everybody thought lead point, lead paint was good for the, their house. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Luckily, when my mom bought this house, I've had this house built, not bought. I had it built in the mid-70s. Lead paint was already outlawed, so she never had to worry about, like, oh, crap, what am I going to do? There's lead paint all over this house. <clears throat> so. She lucked out. But, yeah, my mom's been in this house for 42, 43 years. I can't keep up. I think she bought it in 70, had it built in 77, so she's been here 42 years. You're not my mom, the gay gamer guy. I can tell you I'm on my second one, and if you look back at this VOD, you can clearly tell it's my second one. But I could also say, oh, it's my 12th beer today. Hey, you believe that too. Don't tell me how to drink. It's America's Day. I'll drink how I want for America's Day. Ooh. <clears throat> Just because you don't drink doesn't mean I shouldn't be drinking, okay? It's okay. It's terrific stuff. I love my beer. <laughs> By the way, the gay gamer, thanks for the fun uh, stream last night. Could barely hear you in it. It was phenomenal. Yeah, I only have 28 more to go. What the hell, man? We're... we're yeah, we're in a marathon right now. <laughs> As I spit it out on myself. <clears throat> <clears throat> nope, I'll just have probably one more hanging out with you guys. But what, I went from a five and a half percenter down to a 4.7 percenter? See, Austin thinks all beer is the same. It's not. It's not. Not all beer is equal. You get your Budweiser at about 5.2%. And then you get your barley wines up to 13%. So. Yeah. I don't feel like having a hangover tomorrow, Godfrey. <laughs> oh, God. That's all my friends in NASCAR doing. They're shotgun their beer. They're having them live shotgun and beers while water skiing. It's really cool to watch. I don't think I've ever shotgun it. I can't. That's the thing. I tried to. Sh I think I tried it once and I, um, I threw up. I was about to say I almost threw up, but I'm pretty sure I threw it up because it was just too much, too fast. That sucks. Luckily, I'm still on my current current work schedule. All Friday and Saturdays. Oh. Breaking news. This just in. My work schedule changes sometime in August. I will be working every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and alternating Fridays and Saturdays. So, whoop, two weekends a month. I have Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. Two weekends a month, I will have Friday, Sunday, and Monday off. So, I am off every Sunday and Monday. So, I'm stoked I can watch my football again. Come watch me my NASCAR again. I'm very excited about them NASCAR. It's getting it's, things are starting to heat up there in the in the Monster Energy series. I mean, I, I Bowman won last week, so who knows who will win this week at Daytona? <laughs> but I'm excited. 
And every other week I'll be able to watch college football along with it. So with this new, with this schedule change, I may just get myself cable again. I probably will. I'll probably call Comcast and be like, I'm sorry for canceling my cable. I was just, I'm really sorry. I miss my sports. I really do. I miss watching hockey. I miss watching baseball at home. So me didn't say anything. Wait a minute. Oh. See my latest piece of artwork? Can I show it? Hold on. Well, it's in a plastic bag. That's okay. I can still show it. There you guys go. My mom got some artwork. I love it. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Boom. Yes. <laughs> My dream job would be driving the karma bus. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Awesome. Thank you. Alrighty. Oh, you're around? Okay. Hey, the gay gamer. Thank you so much for the the bit. I'll, I'll also say, thank you all, Mr. Wong. Thank you for the, the bitty from the titty. I'm ready for football season two. I'm ready to see how piss poor the Broncos are this year. I already know the Buccaneers aren't going to be crap, but yeah. I just looked up. Holy crap, we have 16 viewers. Hello, everyone. Happy 4th of July. I hope you're all doing 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 well. Can't talk. Okay, Sesame. I just don't like people calling out lurkers in my chat. I don't think it's very nice. It's not very polite. Mmm. <clears throat> I feel like I got a raid, but I didn't get a notification. Anyone confirm? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. And of course, while I'm on my phone, I don't get notifications of anything like that. But, hello everyone. Welcome to the 4th of July celebration with Mr. Chadio on his mother's patio. But yes, that was cool. I like my mom's new piece of art. I kind of want that too. But Sesame, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? And hey, did I? Did, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not really calling you out, but did I see you in my DJ set earlier for about ten minutes? Did you Did you make it for that for a little bit? I was playing some fun music, some uppity music. But yeah, my my mix the other night, I really like so much I ended up <coughs> saving the uh, saving it re you know keeping it so I'll be able to listen to that again I may even replay that playlist but sesame I'm doing well cut my mom's yard behind me looks pretty bad Man. and now I'm relaxing having a couple beers enjoying myself mmm Ah, that's a good 4th of July beer. That's a good midsummer beer right here. Very fruitful. And the next beer I plan on having, the last beer, will be a um, Ballast Point uh, Sculpin. Grapefruit Sculpin. Those are good. <clears throat> well, thank you. Thank you for coming by earlier for the DJ set means a lot I was having some fun with it <clears throat> I think that's a good use for the webcam but all I do is bob around oh I'm having lighting issues Hold on. maybe I'm not I don't know maybe I'm going blind I can't see but I think it just got so bright that my my display dimmed I don't know if your display dimmed I don't know if you guys are having like light flashes or whatever and hopefully it's staying focused for you guys. It seems on my end it looks like it's butter. Butter, butter, butter. But yeah. Ugh, jeez. I spilled beer on the floor. Yeah, currently drinking this bad boy from Left Hand Brewing Company. Flamingo Dream Nitro. Little Fl Florida Flamingo. And this beer is out of, I think it's out of Longmont, Colorado. 
let's see, da, 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 Longmont, Colorado. Boom, and I kind of, I'm pretty sure that Left Hand sells a couple of their beers across the country. I think it's their, what is it? Their Milk Stout, their Nitro Milk Stout. I think that's sold nationally. It's a good beer. Great, great, great winter beer because it's just, oh, it's dark. It's got some, some heaviness to it. It's got heavy cocoa taste. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, this beer is perfect for right now. But I'm also looking forward to the skull thing. Mmm. Yummy, 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 and yeah, my tummy, tummy, tummy. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Mmm. So yeah, my mom's pretty funny. She's like worried. She doesn't want to be in my streams at all, not even her voice, which I 100% respect that. Um. Wow, smoke out. He's like a smoke out, man. Like, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but here, let me, like, flip you around. You see the smoke over there in the air? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, man. It's a great American smoke out. Ah, dude, there's so many, you know, I'm on the eastern edge of the Denver area, and there are a lot of farmers coming here, like, well, you know, I was just in the area. I went to Lowe's and I saw that there was a, a beer dispensary over here. So I thought to give you a try. So usually, you know, they I would even recommend like a light lager or the Munich Hellas, something light that, you know. But yeah, it's, it's worth a try. This one, it's, it's, it's a very blonde ale. It's very refreshing very light very tasty but yeah i mean I'm not, I'm not trying to disrespect but yeah we have the the farmers coming in from the east to pick up supply from lowe's or go to the grocery store and they see there's a brewery here let's go check it out and probably about i would say 90 percent of the time they're like wow i i didn't know that these like hipster brew beers and whatnot could be so good they're like wow it just blows their mind you know but okay yeah those are both pretty good hopefully you got yourself a, a good miller light for today you missed there's my ronald reagan um quote <laughs> but yeah i mean I'm I'm so fortunate to have an incredible craft microbrewery a seven minute walk from my house. I mean they're always hooking it up with me and I'm always taking up you know a couple some tastes for uh, of my my home brews and they so far they like a lot of it. There you go. I mean have some moonshine. Nothing says America likes some moonshine, you know. But started that NASCAR stuff. But yeah, have some shine. But yeah, uh, a guy, his name is John. He's a he's a teacher. Uh, August through May, but he, he works once a week at the brewery, even during the school year. And he's working, I think, twice a week. But he home brews too. Told him I was gonna give him a bottle of this, and he said he'll give me a bottle of one of his home brews that he has bottled up. He brews like at least five gallons at a time. He gave me his American Strong. Which um, kind of mimics a beer. It's called Arrogant Bastard. So it's a, it's, a, it's, it's an American strong ale. And man, was that beer so good. He's like, well, you know, it, it's kind of a, a mimic of the Arrogant Bastard. What should I call this beer? I said, Ignorant Bastard. And he just laughed. He's like, I like that. That's no, my Ignorant Bastard you know, American Dark Strong or American Strong L. All right, Sesame, thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. I hope you have a, a good day. I don't know if we can play Clue. We tried last night. You could, uh, you know, ask uh, Magic Mushroom. Or Magic Mushroom. Whoa, Magic Muffin. <laughs> you can tell I've been in Denver too long. But, yeah, talk to, you know, Magic Muffin. He'll let you know that it's still broken, man. Like, even when I wasn't in it when like because I hosted because it worked between uh, Magic Muffin uh, Grits and I 
it worked flawlessly the other day. But you know, we added Austin, it just didn't work out. But we'll 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 definitely play something soon. Golf for sure. Golf for sure. We missed you last night. Uh, Austin probably could have used you in that second game. Oh no, Austin and I finished for last, so we both could have used you last night. All right. Well, here's the law, Godfrey, and you tell me if this law makes any sense whatsoever. It is illegal to purchase magic mushrooms. It's illegal to sell magic mushrooms. It's illegal to consume magic mushrooms. But if you're stopped by the police and you have some in your possession, it is not unlawful. How does that law make sense? I mean, tell me. I don't, don't get it. So I'm able to have magic mushrooms on me. But I'm not allowed to buy them. I'm not allowed to sell them. I'm not allowed to consume them. Exactly. But you know what? <clears throat> For about a decade or so, that's how marijuana was in Colorado. It was illegal to purchase, illegal to consume, illegal to sell. It still is illegal to sell and purchase outside dispensers. But it was legal if you had under, I think, a gram. Cops couldn't throw an additional charge on you for it. <clears throat> so, yeah, in the next 10 years, magic mushrooms will be legal in Denver. Luckily, I live outside of Denver, so I don't have to deal with that bullshit. <laughs> Excuse me, but yeah, that law is... It's stupid. It's awful. It needs to go. I mean, law enforcement is having a hard enough time with DUIs, with alcohol, with all these microbreweries in town. And on top of that, they're busting people for um, driving while intoxicated or driving while under the influence of marijuana. So now we're going to throw magic mushrooms in the mix? It's like, law enforcement can't even keep up now. I can't imagine if this goes legal statewide. <laughs> yeah, they are. But if you're growing for like, I don't know, Green Dragon, Euphoria, or one of the other dispensaries, you can get licensed and the state will go in and check out the operation. And if it's on the up and up, then you're legally allowed to grow for the dispensaries. It's like, Stop. Stop. I just, I want to go back, and I think a lot of Coloradoans who voted yes for it want to go back to 2011 when that was going to hit the ballot in 2012 and go, no. <laughs> we don't want that. But, you know, we were conned into marijuana because they said, well, our prisons are overcrowded with minor infractions of marijuana, but if we legalize it, our prisons won't be as overcrowded. Well, our prisons are extremely overcrowded with people moving to Colorado acting like freaking idiots because they moved here for the marijuana, breaking other laws, going to jail. So that was just another way for the state to make a lot of freaking money. And using education as their, as their fallout was a crock of crap. The money's not going into education. It's going into administrators' pockets. And if education wants to use some of that marijuana money, it has to be a one-time project that cannot be a recurring project because what if the federal government comes in and shuts us down? It's, it's dumb. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, those are all over the place here. That's an issue too. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> There's a... Airbus, I can't tell what kind. I'm not very familiar with Airbuses. I can just tell the difference between the fuselage sizes. They're a little bit fatter with the Airbuses. Or they're a little. They're, there's a difference, I think, with the winglets, too. But let me finish up this beer, wash out my glass, and I will be back. Y'all. Yeah. Give me like two minutes, I'll be right back.
My mom's listening to Queen. She's hip. Gun it? There's no way, dude. Here. That's what I'm drinking. Ballast Point Grapefruit Sculpin IPA. India Pale Ale brewed with natural with the uh, grapefruit. Natural flavors, blah blah blah. Established 1996. Sant Diego, also known as a whale's vagina. <laughs> listen, listen to so if anyone was around for that Flamingo Dreams I opened, now listen to this. Yeah, see that? That cracks like a normal beer. It's not a big pal. So I gotta be careful. Pouring. There we go. But yeah, guys, this will be the last beer I'll enjoy with you all. Because I should probably eat some food. And hang out with my mom, you know. But I knew she'd be busy I'm getting ready for my nieces to be staying with her for a few days. So I figured, all right, I'll cut your grass. I'll shower because it's nasty outside. I'll chill for a little bit, eat a little bit of food and come out and stream. And after this, we'll see what I do. But yep, so far, drinking, drinking, drinking. Not too bad. And Austin... We're at, we're at number three for the beer counter if you're if you are you really that like freaked out over it. Oh my god, how much beer has you had? <laughs> a few, Austin, a few. Mmm. But I don't know. I might stream later, it depends. I might even walk around my mom's friend's neighborhood and catch some fireworks and chat with you guys. It's a really, I mean, the area is really cool. It's an old Air Force base. There's a bunch of hangars spread out still around it. One is used for an ice skating uh, rink. I think another one is used for an airplane museum, which I'll be at on Saturday. So I will do a vlog for that for YouTube. Um, I probably won't stream it just because, you know, it's just there's going to be a lot of people there and I don't like getting random faces and there's going to be a lot of cool things. I think it's there's a space um, exhibit there right now which I'm stoked about. <clears throat> I really hope that they have like a, a model of like an Apollo capsule I can crawl into and then I'll record that. That would be a lot of fun but I'm definitely going to be able to crawl into I think a helicopter for sure, a, an old fighter jet for sure, and probably walk around, you know, the fuselage and co go into the cockpit of a bomber. So that's awesome. No, 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 it's not. It's um at a uh, Lowry, the old Lowry Air Force Base. I'll be going to the wings over the Rockies Museum. That's been around probably for 15 years, and I have never gotten there. I've never been there. I'm so excited. The other reason why I would rather record and not stream is my nieces are going to be with my mom and I, and they're seven. I do not, you know, I'm going to tell them, hey, I'm about to record, so don't get in the shot. I don't, there's, I'm not going to show my nieces. I mean, that's not fair. I don't like when people, like, create Facebook pages for their infants, and I'm like, are you you kidding me? Well, that all right. Well, your child's identity gets stolen. Don't cry here. You know, and that's the thing. I don't like showing random people's faces, like the back of someone's head. Whatever. There's no app called Faceback. That was from the uh, Will Ferrell, um, Mark Wahlberg movie. It's called Faceback. Recognizes the back of people's heads. Puts a face to them. Faceback. <laughs> but no, Buckley Air Force Base is. I think it's about seven miles away from... No. The hell am I saying seven miles? Tornado watch? I'm under a tornado watch. Does that look like tornado weather to you guys? I see blue skies. Uh, well, there goes that. We're under a tornado watch. Yeah, I just got the notification from Samsung. You're under a tornado watch. 
much. But uh, yeah, Buckley Air Force Base is probably four miles away uh, from their gate. And I love it when I'm outside and they just haul ass doing little flybys in formation. Nothing just makes me smile larger. Every time I see it, I just go, yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> I think the whole front range mountainous areas are under a tornado watch. I'm not surprised with the level of humidity. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if my mom and I go to our friend's house and within an hour it just starts downpouring and all the fireworks are canceled or postponed until tomorrow. Wouldn't be surprised. And if that's the case, I might get kind of close to the Aurora fireworks show tomorrow and attempt to stream it. So if it is canceled, I'll let you all know on Twitter. You know, that I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to catch the bus. Because I'm a loser. I don't have a car. But that's another story. So catch the bus. Go by my work. Or maybe even go to my work. And watch the fireworks from there. Hell. I mean, my mom will have my nieces. And now we're under a tornado warning. What the fuck? I'm just kidding. Hold on. Oh, it went away again. Mm. I'm pretty sure that Tornado Watch is for um, Douglas, Elbert, Arapaho, Adams, and part of Denver County for me. So now we're under our sails. We got ourselves a little Tornado Warning or Tornado Watch. <laughs> Damn. Happy Fourth of July. I mean, I already posted some natural fireworks on my YouTube channel from the other night. I, I just, my favorite way storms go, they start from the, you know, kind of northwest of me and then just kind of crawl to the southeast, missing me, and I get a good electric show at night. And I was able to get a good electric show and put it up on YouTube. Are you serious? I was only kidding about that. Holy crap. From Denver to Douglas, Wyoming. Good gosh. Well, that's pretty widespread. So it's probably the isolated storms rolling through that might be really strong and short lived. We'll see. But, mm. Mm hmm. Well, welcome to modern meteorology. We don't know where it is, we don't know when it will be. But there may be a tornado, but we don't know for sure. Our, our models are, are shit. We're using technology from Russia from 1978. So we may get a storm, we may not. You know how it is up there in Wyoming. It's like with snow. All right, you may get a dusting or you might get six feet. We don't know, but it's going to snow. We just between, you know, a quarter of an inch upward to six feet. So... It'll snow. <laughs> you know, that's how they meteorology down here. That's how they predict the weather. It's like uh, Ollie from Family Guy. <laughs> Ollie with the weather. It could have rained. Thank you, Ollie. <laughs> well, you know, hopefully it's just a feeling and hopefully it doesn't come to reality. Tornadoes are scary. What was it? Ten years last month, a tornado ripped through a shopping center. That way. Just that way. <clears throat> About five miles uh, southeast of my mom. I was actually cutting her grass that afternoon. I was watching the storm build. But it exploded like that. Not only did I feel the temperature drop, but I also felt the pressure drop and I just let go of the lawnmower like that just killed the lawnmower let stop shoved it back in the garage closed the garage went inside my mom's like what happened I'm like uh I think we're about to get a tornado and sure enough within five minutes the sirens were going off we were watching the local news channel and a funnel was spotted right over my old high school and it touched down 
uh, southeast of there through an old shopping center so okay yeah I know we've had several tornadoes in this area one was 90 somewhere between 86 and 94 that devastated an area not too far from here and we get a lot of floods around not well not really in here but Oh, what it was. We're outside of Boulder. What was it? Big Thompson River flooded during a huge storm. And they still haven't fully rebuilt. They're still working on rebuilding after that flash flood. That's scary, man. But I, when I bought my place, I, I triple checked I wasn't in a floodplain, a flash floodplain. Even though I'm near a huge reservoir, kind of on the dam side, they said, no, you're elevated high enough that water will never get there. Oh, that Windsor tornado was nasty. What was that like? Wasn't it like a Cat 3 or a Cat 4? That thing was. That's probably one of the largest tornadoes to hit Colorado. At least that close to the mountains. Mm. That sucker was devastating. Yeah. I mean, I saw footage of it the day of, and it stuck with me, because uh, tornado was on the ground, like, wide, and the person was, like, several miles away, and it still looked that wide. It's like, holy shit. Yeah, it leveled Windsor. <clears throat> so, crazy. Just insane. Just how weather is so beautiful, one minute, perfect, kind of like this, except for the heat and then who knows even here five ten minutes from now it could be storming i mean it looks like there may be a gray cloud behind me but that's blue sky it's all blue sky yeah some clouds but nothing nothing bad i can't believe we're under a tornado watch <laughs> it kind of cracks me up It is very unpredictable. I mean, even weather anymore anywhere is unpredictable. Florida has been unpredictable too. Florida in the summer. Here's the definition of weather in Florida in the summer. Oh my gosh, it's so sunny. There's not a cloud in the sky. And I'm in a downpour. Holy crap, this is really... And it's sunny again. <laughs> There's Florida weather for you. What the hell is that? I'm soaked. Oh my gosh, I picked a bad day to go to Bush Gardens. Holy... Holy shit. That's Florida weather. The really cool thing about here is we're able to watch the storms build over the mountains all day long and just slowly crawl from above over the mountains and easterly to me. So luckily it's like I could look 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 west at eleven AM and I could tell you if we're gonna get an afternoon storm or not. Or southwest or Northwest, but yeah, if I look west towards the mountains, I could tell you, all right, we're probably gonna get a storm today. Like today, I felt that way coming to my mom's house. It was cloudy, really puffy clouds. I was like, oh, oh crap. And then I looked at the radar, and there's nothing on it. Well, the closest thing I saw to me was far uh, eastern Wyoming into uh, Nebraska. I hear a siren in the distance. I tell you, when I was a kid, I would play right there, right behind me, out there, out there. I would play out there. I would hear cows mooing all day long. Well, those cows are no longer here. They have been replaced by sirens of police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances. It's just it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking people call it progress i call it degress because it's like man, even even things around here we had a lot of cool places around here when i was a kid that have closed several in the last year like the old spaghetti factory near downtown denver uh the landlord jacked up their rent so much that they're like we we can't stay here anymore we're closing 
and the landlord did that just so they can open an indoor mini golf course. What the hell? There's a place here called White Fence Farm, which had delicious country cooking. Oh my gosh, it was so good. The atmosphere is awesome. You're on an old farm. Everything painted white. White Fence Farm, everything was painted white. Very educational. Educational about the history of the area, about the farming and everything. Well, you know, the city that they were located in came in and offered them a lump sum they could not resist just to tear it down and build overpriced apartments. And it's just like, this sucks. I miss old Denver. I do not like this new Denver at all. Like, I wouldn't even go downtown for a Colorado Rocky baseball game, and I absolutely love that stadium. That's the, probably one of the coolest stadiums. I've heard people who've gone to all the stadiums in the league, and they rank Coors Field in, the, in their top five. Of course, behind Wrigley and, and Fenway. Uh, the old Yankee Stadium was ahead of us, and then they tore that down and built the new stadium. Coors, I think Coors Field's, like, ranked fourth most beautiful stadium in baseball and I refuse to go to games because I don't want to deal with I don't want to deal with the shit down there anymore mm-hmm oh Godfrey I get it I was in high school I started high school 21 years ago it sounds like a long time but really, a course of a lifetime, 21 years is nothing. My high school, when I started there, it was surrounded by open space and farmlands. And I go by my high school now, it's surrounded by housing development. I'm like, okay, the building looks familiar. Okay, the high school here and up the hill, there's a, there's a middle school. Okay, that looks familiar. What the hell? I remember as a freshman in high school... Yeah, traffic here. I don't even want to talk about our traffic. But high school, it was like when I was a freshman, during my off hours, I was considered closed campus because I was an underclassman. I didn't give a shit. I ran across the street, hopped the fence, went to farmland, and chased cows. Now, that farmland's been replaced by a neighborhood. And it's like, what the hell, man? I didn't even graduate high school that long ago. I graduated 16 years ago. 17 years ago. <laughs> Think about that. It's been 17 years since I graduated. And that much has changed. I'm like... And I taught the kids to go to that high school. And I'm like... When I was your age... And I went to that high school... We chased cows... During our off hours... Yeah, that was crazy. Hey, Austin. Piss off. It's not me. It's random, dude. Todd ma nailed it last night. Because Christopher and Todd played with me. No issues. It's not me. I completely uninstalled the game. Reinstalled the game. You know, up. Uh, Re reset my modem, reset my router many of times. It is not on my end. It's the fucking game. But, hey, you want to be an asshole? Be an asshole. Happy 4th of July, Austin. Enjoy sitting on your ass playing Clue all day, buddy. Er, uh, uh, I'm Austin. I'm from Kansas. I'm the only Democrat that's here. <laughs> You're not getting a hug from me. No, you don't. <laughs> and you know why I know you don't love me? It's because I have you down to a 4% on Discord. <laughs> you, sir, have ruined five of my recordings in the last three months. Ruined. So, you don't love me. You ain't love my... I no, no, sorry, Bobber. You don't love me. But thanks for the three bits. I appreciate it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with, with that three cents. 
Uh, there's a gumball machine at the grocery store that still has uh, penny bubble gum. I make it. A, I make it three pieces of uh, penny bubble gum and chew them. <laughs> oh goodness. Mmm. Whew. We've been going for like an hour and twenty minutes. Somebody wants to do a exclamation point uptime. Let's see where we're at with things. But I think we're at an hour and 21 minutes. I started right at 2 o'clock my time. But I'm getting to the point I might need to eat something. But I kind of want to know who was on, uh, on Twitter. I might want to raid somebody. You missed again. Damn, a bad aim. I need to stop saying that so loud. Someone might take me for granted. Take me seriously. Get on a roof and snipe me with a firecracker. Just bam, right there. You'll see Chad be like, ah! Actually, that's into fame right there on YouTube. Shot by a firecracker. A million views right there. Bam, right there. Money. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't want that because I don't want the hospital bill. Oh, your weather radio going off now? It's still mostly sunny here. Now, the weather people would say mostly cloudy. It's mostly cloudy. I'm looking around like, I see a crap load of blue sky. I see about 70% blue sky. So, it's mostly sunny here. But... You know, hopefully you stay safe. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to imagine the uh, map of Wyoming. How close are you to there? How close are you to Wheatland? The thing is, if you do get a thunderstorm rolling through, it probably if you plan on going to see fireworks or whatnot. I'm doing an evening barbecue. You kind of want the storms to roll, th roll through early. That way it doesn't ruin everything. What's the direction of the storm? Is it going to do, do, uh, do south or is it going east? Southeast. If it's going south, it's probably going to be there in the next two hours, which kind of... Oh, okay, it's going away from you, so that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch the clouds here for a second. Try to figure it out. Yeah, the clouds are going north. Northeast for me. Yeah, they're going north. So. And that's why them airplanes were landing to the south. From the south. Now I think they switch directions because I haven't seen an airplane or heard an airplane in a while. But look, I'm glad that's going the other way from you. I'm glad it's not coming your direction. Mm. This beer is making me sleepy. My God. Uh, seven percent. Crap. I should have grabbed more flamingos from home. I might need to take a nap before I go to my mom's friend's house in two hours. I might just uh, put on a movie on Netflix or... Actually, I've been watching a show on Netflix. I've watched it at least three times all the way through. I love it. It's called Still Game. It's out of Scotland. It's phenomenal. And Still Game originated from a skit comedy show called Chewing the Fat out of Scotland. I recommend both. I mean, it's really funny. I mean, if you can decipher thick, thick Scotland accents, you'll like it. But yeah, some of the time, even for me, who I study a little bit of linguistics, it's like, what? <laughs> What'd you say? 
That's really freaking thick there, buddy. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, I'm... I gotta... I've, you know, I walked away at my mom's house. I'm looking west. I don't know how big that cloud is. I mean, these trees are about 120 feet tall. I mean, if you look at that tree... There we go. Up, up, up. It's about a 120 foot tree. Not really. <laughs> it might be about 50. I'm not, I'm not good at math. But it's pretty damn tall. I mean, these rooftops are... I think the tip, tippy top of my mom's roof is about 35, 40 feet. These trees might be about 75 foot tall, some of them. I mean, here. Follow me over here. Hopefully you get Wi-Fi. I'm not going to go too far. I should be still here. Ready and go. Look, I got a forest. That forest. My mom has a little forest in her backyard. It's so bad. Oh, my God. I told her. I was like, Mom, get a chainsaw so you and I can cut those down and all you'd have to do is if you cut them down we can cut them way down and chop them up to little pieces while firewood they'll all burn some of them really hot really fast but it's like we got to get rid of that that's so bad if these trees start dying and falling they can land on neighbors houses or over here her neighbors garage right there where he does a lot of car uh, repairs and stuff for people i mean she's got look that's a fallen aspen right behind me we need to get a chainsaw at least for that I and mean, it's it, it's frustrating she used to have a row of i think four aspens right there where that guy's laying down just four and as a kid it was awesome it was because i could you know i could throw a baseball in the air and hit it and for some reason, if I accidentally kind of got a hold of it and uh, pulled it towards the house, the tree would cut. Trees would catch it. Yeah. But the issue with aspen trees is they live about 20, 30 years tops. They crap out. They die. They fall. She's got one kind of. You can see it right here. Hold on, right, right there. Hey <laughs> God. Eh, oh, right there. That's an aspen tree leaning into the neighbor's yard. That's another one. Her and I need to just kind of get a rope and rope it. And another one of us cut into it that way into the direction it's falling. And as it falls, yank it. Have a couple people yank it back into her yard and let it fall in her yard and chop it up. It's the firewood. But aspen is a weed, man. It burns really hot. Speaking of hot... But, uh, uh, I just said it was 70, what, 70% 70 sunny? It's been about five minutes, and now it's about 70% cloudy. Behind me, what was blue is now turning gray. You think the Civil War, man, the blue and the gray. But, yeah, so we're going to hang out here. Good God, an hour and a half. Time flies when you're just yakking. Hanging out. Having some fun. Yeah, I really hope I can walk around my mom's friend's neighborhood. And have the, you know, the uh, other camera up. I could just walk around and capture some fireworks as we talk. Um, that's it. I really want to go to Florida because my dad's neighborhood is so nice I could just walk around probably would walk around like this do, 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 do. like this have the camera facing me but it's like such a beautiful neighborhood I know it's already 3.30 <sighs> you gotta love those days off man my weekends it's like my weekends are Friday Saturday currently so it's like Thursday night, yay! And the next thing I you know, oh, fuck, it's Saturday night. I'll come back to work tomorrow. 
So I'm looking forward to going to four days a week. Oh, but instead of working three sixes and three fives a week, I'll be working four sevens. And I told my boss, I said, hey, if that means I get an extra full day off of work, I'll take it. And Tuesdays will be my Mondays, and I won't have to be to work until 1 p.m. on my Monday. But I work until 8, and I'm like, eh, it kind of sucks. But whatever. It's fine. But I'm happy I don't work every Saturday or every Friday. Because my boss said, oh, man, those days, both of those days are or They're just really bad. We got that face is back. Oh, you're winking at. Oh, you look like Mr. Wong. Hi, Ro. I have face on tweet. Ignore me. <laughs> yeah, I work at a public library. We're open. We're open seven days a week. And I'm looking for library positions in the Tampa area. I applied to one, which is the most perfect library for me because it's about a seven to ten minute drive to my dad's house there and I'm looking in an area a little bit further north from where my dad lives I could be a seven minute drive to my dad's house and a seven minute drive to work I could be a seven minute walk to Target macaroni grill and I could be a two minute drive to a grocery store. I mean, that, how perfect is that? That's ideal right there. That is, you know, being close to family like that, being close to work, being close to a grocery store, a post office is within 10 minutes away. A bank I would probably transfer, you know, my banking to is 10 minutes away. Uh, the closest brewery is about a 12-minute drive, 15-minute drive away. It's a little far, but I mean, the breweries in Florida are few and far between, but the ones I've been to there, I've been extremely impressed by. There's one called uh, 610 that would be the closest one to my dad's house. Holy crap, they've even won awards at Great American Beer Fest. I think for I don't remember which one of their beers. They're blonde. Maybe an IPA. But yeah, one of their lighter in color beers won an award and I tried it and it was the blonde. Yeah, the blonde. So freaking good. I was so impressed. Mmm. But Yep. Let's see if I do that. Nope, nothing. But yeah, I mean, this has been a lot of fun, guys. I'll be wrapping it up. We've been going for an hour and 34 minutes, almost an hour and 35. That's about as long as I was wanting to go for us tonight. I did, I did not get a notification for a raid, but going from four viewers to 16, somebody raided me. If you're still around, those who were a part of that raid, thank you very much. I'm so happy you decided to spend part of your 4th of July with me. It means the world to me. Um, I love my community. You guys are the best. You know, I can hop on here every once. So, I mean, I could go a month without screaming and then I come back in. And you guys are here welcoming me, welcoming me back to streaming. Um, it's going to be a hard balance this month between YouTube, doing YouTube and streams, but I think come August with my job change, I should, I should be able to do at least two streams a week and record two to three videos a week for YouTube. So, I mean, that, that, that's five things with me a week and that's exactly where I want it to be. I do need some time off. Um, I'm not sure which days, you know, if I'm working, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, 
Thursday, Friday. That should be easy. Let's do a Friday night stream or whatnot. I'm not, I'm not telling you a schedule. I'm just saying, you know, I should be able to do, should be able to manage two streams a week plus, you know, three YouTube videos a week. I think that, I think that's pretty suffice for a very small channel like my own, but here we go. Bottoms up. Mmm. Bitter beer face. Was it bad though? Oh, that grapefruit zest. But anyways, guys, I've had a lot of fun with this. We have gone for an hour and 36 or minutes or so. And I will see you all next time. For those in the U.S., have a wonderful and safe 4th of July. For those outside of the U.S., have a terrific day. I will see you all next time. Take care.